Hello everybody, I'm KRX and I think today we're going to be doing a walkthrough for modding city skylines. Now we've actually done this before in a previous episode of like the traffic tutorial. It was like the first part of that series, but I think this is going to be just a concise tutorial and walkthrough just for modding city skylines and, and not looking at any of the mods specifically. This is also going to be the first tutorial in a much larger series where we go over just basically 15 to 20 different sort of city skylines topics. Uh, hopefully all about five to ten minutes at the longest covering different things um, when it comes to using mods or just general tutorials about city skylines and things like that. So let's open up Steam. This is going to be using the Steam Workshop and uh, it's going to be, so this is going to be, you know, applicable for PC and Mac. You're not going to be able to download mods on the uh, on the console versions just yet. So let's go over to the library and uh, let's find city skylines right here at the top of my favorites here. And we can scroll down, we can find the Browse at Workshop. Now this is actually going to work for any game on Steam that has a workshop, right? So this will apply to like Skyrim, uh, DayZ, RimWorld, uh, Darkest Dungeon, I think Planet Coaster even has a workshop. You know, there's tons of games on here have workshops. So let's just find the workshop here. Let's go to Browse the Workshop. And we're going to notice that there's a, a few things going on here. We have a nice little search bar, or we could just search for a mod that we're looking for specifically. It says your files here. There's a little bit of a drop down here to show you the mods that you've already subscribed to, the mods that you've posted yourself, and the things that you favorited. So a favorited mod isn't necessarily a downloaded mod, but it might be something you wanted to archive or, or catalog to uh, track it as it, you know, track it into the future. So it's like a tracking list. And then we have like some popular items in the past week just kind of being sort of displayed for us here. We also have like down here, we can see the filters for the different kinds of mods. So we can filter by the different things. And we could see that... Um, it sort of broke it up into just the general category here, the different categories here, and then like a big chunk for assets. Now the assets are like the specific buildings. Like if we wanted this baptistry, we could we could download that specific building and then plop that into our game. That would be a building asset. And then there's mods and maps. So we could find a map. Like we could just type in anything we wanted. We could type in Seattle up here and we'd probably get um, some Seattle maps. We can uh, sort by most popular. And there we go. We have a, a four-star Seattle map, and we could uh, we could click on this. And in fact, I've already subscribed to this item. But I could, you know, I could if I wanted to get rid of it, I could unsubscribe to it. We could see that an item has completed. It completed uninstalling this item, and then we could click on this to install it. So now we are we are installing this, and it's just warning us that we might have to restart the game. Well, we're not even in the game, so that's totally fine. Let's back out. So we have a map for for Seattle. Um, let's let's keep hitting the back button here and go back to that main page because really. Um, the mods are kind of, you know, what we're mostly looking at here. The mods are going to be a good sort of foundation for uh, getting going with the mods. Just some basic little tools that we can have in our back pocket to kind of get us going before we go crazy with it. A lot of the assets and stuff like that, you'll go looking for this stuff for specific projects or such and such. It's something that you specifically go looking for. But the mod, there's certain mods that are good just to have in your back pocket. And I think what we're actually going to do is... Let's actually go to, um, a, like, my, I'm just going to sneak over here to my collections. I'll have a, no matches for, wait a second, oh, uploaded, whoops. Go into the files I've uploaded. Of course, I haven't actually uploaded any files, but I have created a recommended mods collection. And there's a link for this down below. But basically, we could see that here's some mods, and we could search for any of these. We could type in Traffic Manager President Edition. We could type in, you know, Find Rough Tools. But these are some mods that I think we could go through and kind of just get a sense of like, okay, now that we found ourselves on this mod page, move it. And again, you could search for move it. You could look through the list and find the top rated mods, and this would definitely be one of them. Move it is one of the most popular mods because this, and without going into any detail about what this mod does, we could we could just sort of get a sense of what are we looking at here. We could see. The last time it was updated, which was yesterday, actually, this mod was updated yesterday. It was posted on January 9th. So because there's no year here, that means that it was of this year. If, if this was years ago, it would have said 2017 or something like that, right? So this was posted this year. This is actually a completely new upload of this mod. This mod has been around for a while, but this is a new upload by Cuboid here, who is a, uh, just one of the more well-known modders in the community.
And we could go through here, we could do a bunch of reading about this mod, instructions for how to use the mod, little tips and tricks, little tutorials, sort of text tutorials for how to use the mod, the different tools in the mod, what the mod does, a description of the mod, maybe if there's any conflicts or compatibility, we could see compatibility issues and stuff like that. Um, and we can, we can, you know, it's going to mention certain mods that will work or won't work and things that you can use to augment it and stuff like that. But for the most part, we're just going to grab this. It's also going to say additional required items. I know from experience, this is not required. Again, you can read in the description of the mod, whether or not stuff like that is actually required. So we've hit subscribe and boom, we got that. Those are more like recommended things, but I don't think there's any way for them to list them as recommended. They can only list them as required. So that's why it says that it's required. Let's just go through. Here's fine road tools. Again, we can see some nice little... Uh, pictures sometimes there's video tutorials here and stuff like that uh, some hotkeys it can remind us of some of this stuff is customizable again let's just subscribe to this stuff that's all in this collection and if we're actually looking at a collection like this we could actually just start hitting these buttons here to subscribe as a little bit of a shortcut if we know we want this stuff if we know we want this stuff actually is this the one that i did traffic manager mod no, I didn't. I did the uh, fine road tools. So even though we backed up, it's not showing that the, we've subscribed to these, but if we click on these, we can see that we are subscribed. So now that we've subscribed to these mods here and I already was subscribed, we can see that this already shows that I wa was subscribed to a uh, network extension. If we back up and then go forward, it might show it. No, it's not going to update it. Yeah, that's just the game being the game. But let's load up the game because there's something still, what happens nine out of 10 times is what's going to happen is you load up the game here so we have de we have successfully completed all of those downloads. And usually the little mods are only going to take a little bit, but if you're downloading a heftier mod, it might take a couple minutes to download, just depending on your own download speeds and such. So we're going to load up, we get, okay, a little error coming up, um, failed generating error message, who knows, this is irrelevant. I mean, I got a bunch of stuff loaded in the background, I'm not worried about that whatsoever. Uh, we're just going to keep moving through. You're probably not going to see anything like that if you've only downloaded just a few mods. And I really recommend going light. Going light, just having some tools in your back pocket, learning how to use those first. And then as you s sort of use these tools, as you kind of watch other people on YouTube or on Twitch or whatever, and, uh, you know, get a sense of some different, get some inspiration for certain projects, you can go looking for more mods. You will learn about more mods as you study the game or as you explore the game stuff like that. There'll be things that you want to find. You're like, why can't I do this? How can I do this? And you'll find that there's probably a mod that will let you do that. Um, so what we need to do now, though, that we're into the menu is we need to go to the content manager because those mods that we downloaded are not actually activated. They're downloaded. They're even loaded to some degree, right? But they're not activated. So if we start, if we load into a game, into a city, none of that stuff's going to be activated. So what we can do is I believe we can actually order these by last modified. So this should show us the, the ones that we just downloaded. No, it's not. That's actually last time they were updated based on update history. Uh, let's see. Can we actually? No, I think we're just going to go by alphabetical. So we could just find the ones that we downloaded, right? Alphabetically through this list. Unfortunately, I have a bunch of stuff here, but we're just going to quickly find um, the find road tools. So there's, there's Fine Road, Anarchy, and Fine Road Tools. These kind of go together. You know, none of this is really particularly important. Let's just, uh, let's just uh, find Move It here. Except for I need to learn the alphabet better. There we go. There's Move It. And we could see that actually we could find the Seattle map. So we could search for any of these this way too. So there's the Seattle map. Oh yeah. So we can actually load. If we hit this, we've activated it. That means that when we go to create a new game, we can find our Seattle map. Down here, we now have the Seattle map. If we didn't have this activated, then it wouldn't be showing up in our list. So now that it's activated, it's showing up in our list. We also have Find Road Tools, and we have uh, Find Road Anarchy, and we have Move It activated. So when we load this up, we should be able to see those mods showing up now that we've hit those check boxes. But all those other mods that I had in that list are not active because they weren't, we didn't actually hit those checkboxes. So in that content manager, it's broken down into the different categories like map, mods, assets. So it's all broken down so that you can find what you're looking for a little bit easier. And for the most part, that's all you really need to know when it comes to uh, downloading mods. And we can just kind of wait for this to kind of kind of go to completion here. I guess it's taking its sweet time. But from there, you can, you know, you can search for the mods you want because basically the recommended mod list that I have linked down below is basically just the core fundamental tools, mod tools 
that'll just kind of let you kind of do a lot of work with those without needing a bunch of other mods. But it's specifically, like, everybody creates their own special cocktail of mods. Everybody figures out the mods that they like, the tweaks to the simulation that they enjoy. And in some cases, we can actually look here. Okay, so here we go. Here's the Seattle thing. Here's the map. If we go into, we could actually see this button down here because I'm, I'm familiar with the Move It mod. I know that this is how we activate Move It. So this will actually let us activate Move It. We can see that this is, in fact, the Move It mod is what lets us do this. So we can see that that's working properly. Um, the other thing is the Find Road Tools. We can test to make sure that's working properly. And that's this button down here. So that gives us this menu of these different options. So I'm going to be explaining all of these options and some of the things and how Move It works and how Find Road Anarchy works and Find Road Tools work, stuff like that in separate videos. But we can see that the mods are working. Everything is working here. We can also go to the Options menu, and we can see these mods showing up in the Mod Settings. Now, not all mods are going to show up in the Mod Settings, but some of them that have, well, settings, are going to have menus here so that we can actually hotkey these different items. So what are the cool things about Move It, for example, is it has an undo feature. So if we move it like, whoops, I didn't want to do that, Control Z. Now, I just know that because I've played the game. But you can set that. You can either look that up in this menu, or you can set that. See, undo is Control Z, but we could set this to whatever we want. So find Road Tool, there's different options here. So we can customize these mods even further if it's a mod that allows you to do that. Some of them do, some of them don't, but you'll always see those mods here in this list, and you do that. So basically, you just load up the mod, and then you can customize it once you're in the game. And uh, I think that's pretty much where we are. That is downloading mods and getting them activated for your city skyline cities. And a lot of the times, sometimes the bigger, more intense mods, it's going to be good to start fresh cities with those. And uh, sometimes it's not going to matter. So again, that's just reading the mod pages and kind of figuring out, okay, does this mod need a fresh city? Can this mod be loaded into an, uh, an already existing city? Also, just kind of keeping an eye on thinking about, you know, if this mod affects traffic and this mod affects traffic, it could be that those two mods, because they affect the same thing, they might actually clash with each other and they might not actually be able to function together and that might cause errors and things like that. So mod incompatibility is a big reason why you could be getting errors or game crashes or other bugs and issues and stuff like that. So just making sure that mods aren't like doing the same job as other mods and letting them kind of coexist in their own little areas is, is really just kind of a good sort of general rule when it comes to downloading mods. But again, taking it, take it slow, take it easy, just play around with some, some basic tools. And then as you play the game, as you develop your own style, you'll figure out what kind of mods you want to seek out in the future. But thank you so much, everybody, for watching. We are going to be doing more tutorials in the future. We're actually going to be looking at Move It, all the different little, like what all these little buttons down here mean and all the different, all the power that you can get from Move It and from Fine Road tools as well and all the little tricks here and how that some of these mods work and how I like to use them. And then we're going to be looking at other mods like realistic population and real time and a bunch of other stuff coming down the pipeline. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching this episode of this basic sort of walkthrough guide tutorial for downloading mods using the Steam Workshop for City Skylines. And I will see you guys in the next one.